Anakin Skywalker actor Hayden Christensen and Ahsoka Tano actress Rosario Dawson happily reunite five months after the Ahsoka show's season one final. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching for more details. Anakin Skywalker actor Hayden Christensen and Ahsoka Tano actress Rosario Dawson have reunited five months after the Ahsoka season one final, delighting Star Wars audiences who were thrilled to see their team up in the show. Although it wasn't initially clear whether Ahsoka season one would be the end of the show, Ahsoka season two is in the works and the Ahsoka season one final indicates that the two will reunite once again. This is particularly exciting given that it's clear how well Christensen and Dawson work together. In fact, their dynamic seems incredibly similar to that of Anakin and Ahsoka. Hayden Christensen and Rosario Dawson have reconnected multiple times, bringing Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano back together for various cons and interviews. Most recently, however, they had the chance to spend significant time together. One clip, posted by Lila Hoshans on X, shows the two laughing affectionately with one another as Dawson recounts a story about Christensen. Another, posted by Bidiko for Austin on X, shows several photos of the two sitting side by side during the same interview with the two smiling and comparing bracelets. A third, posted by Mondo three updates on X, is an amazing shot of Dawson and Christensen in front of an audience of people holding up lightsabers. It's clear that Rosario Dawson and Hayden Christensen truly do care for one another, making them the perfect Ahsoka Tano and Anakin Skywalker. Hayden Christensen and Rosario Dawson are the perfect Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano do. Ahsoka brought the characters together in live action for the first time, masterfully capturing their playful but affectionate relationship. A relationship that was terribly overshadowed by Anakin's turn to the dark side of the Force and transition into Darth Vader. While Christensen had long played Anakin in the Star Wars prequel trilogy, Dawson was newer, taking up the mantle as Ahsoka in The Mandalorian, the book of Boba Fett, and Ahsoka after Ashley Eckstein voiced her throughout Star Wars. The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels Truly, Dawson and Christensen each perfectly represent their characters, and they reflect the exact dynamic that Anakin and Ahsoka had throughout the Clone Wars. Even before Anakin's turn, their relationship wasn't necessarily easy. Initially, Anakin didn't want a Padawan at all, and he began by attempting to reject her. The two then developed a sort of brother and sister relationship, being sarcastic with one another, but clearly caring about each other. Over time, though, they became incredibly close, making Anakin's fall even more heartbreaking. Impressively, Hayden Christensen and Rosario Dawson were able to encapsulate this in Anakin's brief appearance in one episode of Ahsoka. There was clear affection, but also pain there, and Dawson and Christensen both played it beautifully. Now, particularly with the two reconnecting, hopes are high that Christensen will appear in the upcoming Ahsoka season two. For now though, it's thrilling just to see that Rosario Dawson and Hayden Christensen remain close after the conclusion of Ahsoka season one. 